Zeus against Southampton. Now, I don't know if you guys will agree with me, but I'm going to give him a 6. I don't think that he played very well, so I got a bit of a card at the moment. But I don't think that he played too well. I do think that he needs to improve a lot if we need a striker or, you know, if he does go, we like I said, we do need to bring in a striker. But, you know, I mean, if he improves, that's good. But the thing is, I do think that he does need to improve because a lot of Arsenal fans are saying that they don't want him anymore and, you know, they want other players to come in. So, yeah, I mean, you know, we didn't really sign too many strikers this season. Sterling, he's doing okay. I wouldn't say he's our best signing. You know, I think Calafiori is probably my best signing. But, um, yeah. Let me know your thoughts on how you think Jesus did. Thank you for creating Saka for Arsenal versus Southampton. Definitely my favourite player of the match. I think Saka made a very, very good impact in today's match. Really good getting in between the players. Nice cutting in from the right. Passing it into the middle for players like Havertz and that. Um, and yeah, I think, you know, throughout the game he made some good appearances. He made some good crosses and stuff like that. And he managed to score him in at 88 to get the third goal, which I thought was really good. I'm going to rate Saka a 10 out of 10 for this, as I think it's fully deserved. He's been good all season, to be honest. And even against a PSG match, I think he was good. Um, however, when I say all season, I would say maybe he could have improved against Villa a little bit however I do think that um you know these last couple of games he's been really good really decent on the ball and really quick and fast so um yeah managed to get the ball really quick passing it into the middle like I said so um yeah thank you for watching guys goodbye Alright guys, welcome back today. I'm going to talk about how Martinelli did for Arsenal versus Southampton. Now, I think Martinelli was a decent player, to be honest. I think he was one of my favourite players. However, I did say that Saka was my favourite player. Um, he managed to get the ball pretty, pretty um, good, passing it nicely as well to players like Havertz and Saka. Um, I think the thing that he could improve about, maybe, could... Um, Get a little bit more into the game a little bit, maybe. He's, he's really good on the ball, but, you know, sometimes he can slack a little bit, a little bit slow on the ball. He needs to get a little bit more involved, you know, and maybe passing it to Saka. For this match, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 um, in the ratings out of 10. I think he was, he was decent, though. Um, let me know your ratings on how you think he did. Uh, credit to Southampton for getting their team together and scoring against us first, because we usually concede first. However, we managed to score those three goals after Southampton. They played all right, to be honest, throughout the game. However, we did manage to beat them. However, they set up their team nicely. You know, they had a good attack. And, you know, I think, you know, they're a decent team, to be honest. Um, you know, they got on the ball well. However, players like Saka Mart and uh, Martinelli and Havertz managed to get there in time and managed to stop Southampton's attack. And, um, yeah, we managed to score those three goals. And Martinelli and Saka are one of my two favourites, I reckon. So, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on how we did against Southampton. Thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye.